Three years ago, I had the chance to go to Haiti on a mission trip. It was sponsored by Church of the Resurrection. They do a lot of different things. I would certainly encourage you uh, to reach out if that's ever something you're interested in. But heading over to Haiti, <clears throat> we were able to, to go up into the mountains and we were working to build a church up there. It was about a 45 minute drive each way up into the mountains and you're just in the middle of nowhere. You're going through streams. You literally hope you're not getting, you're not going to get stuck. Uh, I remember riding in the back of a truck and looking over the cliff and being like, wow, that is a long ways down. And um, this is a trip I'll never forget because we're building we're building this church and we were doing the foundation at the time, the, the, the earthquakes. Uh, I think some of the natural disasters that had happened over there had, had really taken a toll. And it was really amazing because you're with eight or nine other people who have chosen to come on this, this trip and you're helping the folks that are there uh, that, are, that are wanting to build it as, as well. And for me, it really put life in perspective. These folks, their everyday life was to walk two or three miles each way to get water. Uh, they're working to tend their crops. Their everyday goals were to survive. Uh, they, they weren't to uh, go to Starbucks. They weren't to, to have a cheeseburger. They weren't, I mean, they weren't anything but raw survival skills. And it was amazing because we're up there and we're building and we're trying to help out and, and people just start appearing out of nowhere, uh, wanting to help and so appreciative that, that we're there to help also. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Rudy Ehrenberg is somebody who's been going over there for years, helping out with different projects. He's affiliated with Church of the Resurrection and uh, I'd met him uh, in a Bible study that I was in and he gave me, uh, this information about it and it just it it really piqued my interest and so fast forward when i'm up there and i'm seeing all this stuff going on i'm just thinking man how lucky am i for so many different reasons number one to live the life that i live uh, in the united states and to have so many things that other people can't even imagine and then number two i thought how lucky am i in the fact that I get to see something like this and understand uh, that things are different in this world and that the life that I have isn't the normal life. And you know, it's amazing because there, there was a language barrier, uh, but the one barrier you don't get is the eyes and the smile and the facial gestures and seeing those kids and how their eyes light up when you speak to them or they, they, they help you. And it's, they, they understand that you're doing something for them. We were encouraged and, you know, to work because we we're there to work, but we we're encouraged more to interact with them if we could, because it, they, they believed that it made such a difference, uh, for these folks to know that people wanted to help them. And I remember we were mixing some, some, uh, cement to put into the, uh, into the foundations and uh, there was a lady, she was probably, she looked like she was about 45 or 50 and she was on it. She was mixing the cement and helping and we were, we were doing things together. And I quickly realized that she had a couple kids there that were doing some things as well. And you could just see the joy on her face, but you could see the determination on her face also of wanting to do this. And it was just a really cool thing. And <laughs> You know, I, I fashioned myself even at the age I was of being a fairly strong guy, but I'm not so certain that I was any stronger than her uh, physically and certainly not stronger emotionally because uh, what she's dealing with on a daily basis, I think is amazing. And you see a smile on their face at all times. And I think that is something that's just beautiful. juggled center ring for Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, not once, but twice. And uh, I took my clubs there, I was encouraged to bring them and I did. And you know, it was great because I would start juggling a little bit and the kids were just mesmerized by it. And then uh, 
I got to where the kids were out in front of me and I'm juggling and I would throw uh, a club to them and they would catch it and just look at me like, what the heck was that? And then they would throw it back and they were just having a great time. And to see the joy on their faces for something other, I mean, something that seems so simple to me, which is just you know juggling and having a good time, to see the joy on their faces uh, as we did that it is priceless, something I'll never forget. And you know, I had a line of seven, eight, nine kids and I'm throwing clubs to them and they're throwing them back or I'm juggling for a while while they, they watch. And um, it was just really, really neat to be a part of that, have that chance. And then also the fact of being able to see some of these parents and, and folks that were there and the appreciation they had because you know, what I did for them juggling, you know, they maybe have never seen that before and maybe would never have a chance again in their life. And it's a little thing, yet it's it's really a pretty huge thing. Uh, and to be a part of that, from my perspective, is something uh, that I will never forget. I went to Haiti because I was curious about how they lived. I knew that it was a third world country. I knew that there was poverty. But I had no idea. Uh, you can't have any idea until you're there and you go and you see it for yourselves. And I don't mean to push that up so much for any other reason than this, which is the other thing that you see a lot of is bright smiles, white teeth, and people that are just very, very happy. And I think that's something that we as human beings can take a lot from, which is to learn no matter what is going on in your life, no matter what your circumstances, you have a choice, you make a choice to be happy.